videos. Rain. The Chaos Rain Show presents. You hate polygamy, but you share the same baby daddy. Sit back and enjoy. The views expressed on Talk Real Solutions hosted by Tyrone Thompson at TalkRealSolutions.com are the views of Tyrone Thompson and do not reflect the views of TalkRealSolutions.com, YouTube, or etc. The content here belongs to Talk Real Solutions and its many contributors. Views and opinions expressed by all contributors belong to them and not TalkRealSolutions.com or Tyrone Thompson, the host, or etc. All data and information provided on the site is for informational purposes only. Talk Real Solutions makes no representations as to accuracy, completeness, correctness, suitability, or validity of any information on this site and will not be liable for any errors, omissions, or delays in this information or any losses, injuries, or damages arising from its display or use. All information is provided on an as-is basis. In a world where there's crime, corruption, violence, murder, rape, theft, and all forms of atrocities that plague the world in which we live in today. What you're witnessing, we are living in a state of chaos. And it's taking more greater or extreme of chaos to restore the order in which the world we live in today. Uh, what's good, everybody? This is Chaos Rain here. I'm back. And tonight, mm, tonight, tonight is the night. We're going to have this very much uncomfortable conversation. This conversation is not for the faint of heart. It is not for the weak. It is not for the the type that has a certain itch and a sense of triggers where they're going to go out their chairs and really want to go around and do undastardly deeds in regards to the anger and frustration of what they hear through the mouth of these airwaves. This is the show for y'all. But before we go into today's stream, to follow me, these are links to follow the Chaos Rain Show. You can follow me on Twitter. Chaos Rain 7. Follow me on Facebook. Eric Rain on Facebook. And one thing I do want to add, and I will put it in the chat room and in the description. Join my Rumble page. Um, The name for Rumble is C Rain Twenty Three. So please, um, follow me on Rumble and and let me say about Rumble for those that's not understanding or clear. For all you naysayers or those people that are too comfortable, bring your butt over Rumble right now because right now Rumble is going to be the official place for real hardcore I would say uncensored material. And I mean, when I mean uncensored, you're going to hear words like F, C, K, um, B, C, A's, all these words. You must make your or carry yourself to a rumble. Because this is only going to get as real raw as it get over there. And I know most who heard Rumble, they don't really look at Rumble because they're still comfortable over here because it's PG and it, this is where the action at. But I'm telling people, you're not getting no action on these little kitty apps. 
And y'all know the kitty apps I'm talking about. And I'm not going to name the apps that y'all like to use or consume. But those apps are soft. So please, um, follow me on Rumble today. I'll put the links now for those that to follow. Um, what else? Uh, oh, and join the Discord servers of the Chaos Marine show as well. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so... Let me check it. I'm just checking some right now. Okay. That forgave me. Oh yeah, and I got also content on the podcast side of things. Anchor, Rumble, Spotify, you name it. So those are all links. And am I missing something? Let me see. Oh, no, I don't think I missed anything else. And make sure you subscribe to the Chaos Range show on YouTube as well. You know, we hit the red button, hit the top notification bell for t- uploads and live streams here on the Chaos Rain Show. And please like, comment as well. Especially leave comments on the videos. So there's a lot of conversation that goes on here. And like always, I have not said this and I have not emphasized this. I'm not here to, you know, to keep your attention span low. I'm here to raise your attention span. Because your test span, as we know it, right now is not even hitting over 25 seconds. It's getting lower and lower. And we all know the danger is once you reach a threshold of under five seconds, you are screwed. I ain't going more detail that. So, you know, those are links. So now, no further ado, let's look at the title of today's stream. Where is my... Today's stream is titled, Chaos Rain Presents. You hate polygamy, but you share the same, and I mean same, baby daddy. And I have my special guest again, Sankofa Johnson. As you press star 6-1, Sankofa, I'll raise you, I'll bring you up on the board. Star 6, name 1. So let's get this party started. Sankofa, can you hear me? What's good? What's good, man? What's good, Chaos? I'm doing well. I'm feeling good. You know, yeah. I mean, this is a very much a very much triggering conversation. This is something that, you know. Oh yeah, it's gonna raise. We're gonna we're gonna work with some feathers, man. You know, I'm Mr. Black, Mr. Black controversy. You know, what I'm saying Mr. Uncomfortable Truth. You know. And so, you know, I'm not sure to change my name to Mr. Uncomfortable Truth because a lot of women, or especially our women, don't want to hear it, you know. And, uh, yeah, that's why I brought up this topic because there was an argument not too long ago I witnessed where a black woman got mad with her baby daddy for sleeping with her with her, uh, her rival, which is another baby mama of his. And my thing is, I'm like, why don't y'all just all be together? Because that's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be no pussy. I'm not going to share my man with no other woman, but you're sharing a baby daddy, though. Y'all still got the same baby father, so why not be polygamous? You know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I just like being with one woman, but at the same time, let's be realistic. They all got the same baby father, but you can't talk to me to being polygamous. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you don't need to talk to me to laying down with a, uh, with a dude with a with a man that that's unqualified to be a father that doesn't need to breathe, y'all will lay down with them without without question. But when you question about them, hey, what do you think about being a sister wife or something like that? That's when they get that's when they get triggered. I don't know how to I, I don't know I don't know what's in their, on their mind, um, chaos man. But it makes sense to me, you know what I'm saying? So, cause I got what well, two baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? I got an ex wife and a child, you know my other kid's mother that live, you know they live far away. But at the same time, if, if I had a choice, I would marry both of them. Because you got to look at the demographics of black men. There's 19 million, 19.1 million black men in America, and then you got 21 million black women in America. Now let's break it down. You know, so let's let's look at how many men are incarcerated. Black men are incarcerated by 10 million. So that already cuts it in half. So you got 9 million black men left. Now let's look at how many black men that are married. Maybe about 500,000. That's cutting it down even more. Uh, 
Let's look at uh, how many black men that are down low, about 50,000 50, to 100,000. They cut you down even more. You know what I'm saying? So we break all this down. These black women are left with maybe 100,000 black men to choose from. And let's look at how many black men that are over six feet, 1%, 1 to 2%. That breaks it down even more. See, they don't realize that they're slim picky. See, these women cannot be selfish. Well, not selfish, but picky when they don't have it, when they don't have that many black men to choose from. So why not be polygamous? Go ahead, G. Well, 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 well. Now, you know, me as a man, I, I don't push or tell people what they should be doing. But if people can go the polygamous route, it's kind of difficult in America because there's no laws really protecting polygamous relationships, per se. You're going to have to go under a radar, under the, um, how you say, uh, underground. Off grid, yeah, off grid or whatever, yeah. With, with, the, um, with the direction of the status of this relationship, this union. And per- personally, um, the only person that could really do polygamy here in certain parts of America, I think Utah, was more Amish state, they engage in some polygamy, and I think they put some laws in place for themselves to have more than one wife, a male, because in their mind, they are pretty much white, and they're the only ones that, um, in certain parts of the United States, say, I can have more than one wife, and I can marry, and it'll be legalized, you know? Legal. Not legalized. But, but when it's a black man, oh no, you better not. You better make sure you keep this one woman, or keep your thing in your pants, don't be spreading your seed. Keep your seed in one moment, and eventually, if you have sons, I could take your sons out easy, you know, instead of spreading yourself out. <laughs> and, and, you know, I laugh and joke in seriousness that, you know, you, 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 you as a man, if you're going to go that route, you're going to have to be really blunt honest with a lot of these women in America. Because the normal or the modern day woman, black women especially, it's not down for you to have more than one mate. Sorry, black man. It is what it is. Now, the floor is yours, Sankofa. Yeah, man, you know, you were 100% correct. But the, the, but like I said, it goes back to my original point. They don't have a problem sharing the same baby daddy and bragging about, yeah, that's my baby daddy, blah, blah, blah. That's my baby daddy. Blah, blah, blah. That's all you hear. But they get jealous of each other. And then when I look at these dating Say, for instance, you know, I ain't going to mention a, a, a popular YouTube uh, dating singles lady, but a lot of women will say, huh? No, cut, cut oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so they always say that men, they rather have a man that don't have kids or they want a man that has a baby mama but they live far away. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Why is that? And some of them be like, and then when she asked them, well, what, what number baby mama are you? They be trying to answer. I saw that today. You know what I'm saying? She got five kids by this one dude, but they got seven other kids and three other baby mamas and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or four other baby mamas. You know, because this dude totally probably got about 16 kids. I know the man I work for, he got 16 kids and a few baby mamas. That's what I'm saying. That's, basically, that's technically a polygamous relationship in a sense when you look at it. You know what I'm saying? Because all these women are sharing this one guy. So who's set, who's, who's really sexually resp- uh, irresponsible when it comes to mating with these men that are unqualified to be husbands or even fathers, you know what I'm saying? They're just spreading them seed, their seeds out. And it, it goes the same for black men. Like, if you're going to do this, won't you just get multiple wives? Because when you look at the, 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 excuse me, the statistics that I placed earlier, which they might be a little skewed because I don't have my notes in front of me, but they're a little bit skewed. But when you look at when you when you look at the end statistics, it's gonna leave still like maybe about sixteen million black women single without a husband. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the reason why this car and I know this might have rubbed some feathers, but for all you baby mamas out there, yes, you are technically in a polygamous relationship. You're single and you're unmarried. That's why I always say, like, I don't agree with black women that have a lot of kids to be dating or trying to date because you're not going to get no better than your baby father. You know what I'm saying? And then if, if a man do accept uh, <clears throat> you and your kids or whatever, is he going to be respected? Is he going to be 
you know what I'm saying, is he going to be uh, uh, not worshipped, but, you know what I'm saying, just respected and, you know what I'm saying, and honored in, in doing that duty, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it just, it's, it's, really, it's really something to think about. And I'm not here to, like, really rub your face. I know I'm controversial, but I hope this makes you think instead of get you triggered. I hope it triggers your thought process and not your emotion. Go ahead, go ahead, Chaos. That's my yeah. point. The call note for tonight's show is, um, hold on, 717 access code 917-324-POUND. Y'all know the title, you know the subject. Um, let me get my mic close to me. St. Kofa, in your mind, in today's modern day, do you think not believe, but do you think the minor or average or wherever status a brother has or a man generally can really today handle and deal with one woman in America today? Not with the mindset that these some of these women have because if that let's just say that if polygamy is legal, you can and you and you know if that woman is not on that if that, that woman does not have a mindset of peace, support, and all that stuff. Trying to deal with seven women at one time, even trying to deal with two women at one time, because these dudes are out here playing women, you know what I'm saying? But I said I heard a lot of dudes. I'm like, man, that be crazy, man, that go crazy. With the mindset now, man, you, man, they, they man, they, they'll stretch you out to the point of a stroke for real. So nah. But the one thing a lot of our women, a lot of our women ain't humble enough to even. She even had that thought process, you know what I'm saying, to even say, hmm, it makes sense. Girls, let's get together. Let's be with this one man. At least we'll all be married to him. At least we all can say we have a husband, even if it's just marrying one that one dude. But they don't have the thought process. They they, they, they too busy in their ratchet behavior, you know, and they think it's cute to be somebody. Like I heard a woman say, well, I'm a lot to handle. No, you need to get therapy, okay? When we, a black man not, does not need to handle you. It shows that you're a child. But, yeah, go ahead, bro. Mm-hmm. And do you think modern women today would it would they prefer polygamy? I think that's what they pronounce it. Um, polygamy. Would they rather have it that they they engage with one with um was just them and two men? That way around. I think it's called polygamy. You know, you mean, you mean polygamy. Yeah, you polygamy. women polygamy. rather prefer they have polyamory, and the men should not engage in polygamy. From, from, from your experience. Well, I see, I see a lot of women, but it's a small percentage of women that do want the polyamorous where they have two husbands. Um, those are women that are very hypersexual, you know what I'm saying? But, they're have, but they want polyamorous from a, a, a standpoint of they just want to be stimulated over basically building a legacy. See, a lot of times women want to get married over stim- – they, they get married in relationships because – Men, we, we want to be respected in a relationship. Women want to be emotionally fed in a relationship. Women don't, don't marry for legacy nowadays. They want to be stimulated. They choose stimulation over substance. You know what I'm saying? So the reason why a woman would want a polyamorous relationship is because she want to be stimulated. You know what I'm saying? She don't care about the legacy or anything else. And that's, and it's, that's even the women that just want one of them. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to be emotionally fed day in and day out. See, when you don't emotionally satisfy a woman, then she, she can check out. Men, we check out because of disrespect. Women check, about, check out because they're not emotionally stimulated anymore. So, yeah, from that standpoint, yeah, they want, they, they'll do polyamorous for stimulation, but not legacy, you know. Well, who can they find uh, a simp, a female type of man to really be down with he playing his role while she has another dude that's fulfilling the other side and potentially blowing, getting her blown or back blown by the other dude. Who, who she could facilitate if, if she really wants to be blunt honest to go that route? Polly Amos. She ain't gonna, she, I, I don't know, man, because I don't even know dudes that even move that way. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she'll even, even in a beta male self, I don't even think, beta male self, they're way emotional, so they're not gonna go for that. You know what I'm saying? No, but we never show no alpha male or sigma male, you know what I'm saying, that, that archetype is not going to go. So I don't know what kind of man she's going to find that moves that way unless he's just hypersexual himself. 
You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what man is going to allow another man to, you know, share share a feminine feminine being with. You know, I, 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 I just don't, I don't know. They have to be like some swingers or something like that, you know. Yeah. Um, hmm. So my, my thing is this. Um, these women that got baby daddies. My question to ask is to the men that know that they're dealing with women that are single mothers. Why take it and make it more than what it is if, let's say, you're, you're getting the draws? Was it about modern men? that has a certain affinity of still, you know, keep around women that have children? That's my other question. Um, well, I can't I answer it from a woman's perspective, but I think with, with some men that, that are, um, that are, that are, will, that will take on that role. Most of them are single mother raised, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll take on that stepdaddy role, not knowing that, if not not we're not not analyzing if it's an asset or, or or liability. So when a man just jump into that role where they are where he's getting with a single mother, he's not and he don't analyze and say, hey, is this an asset or a liability? She got five kids, hmm, and I might have kids myself. So I'm definitely gonna be if I move in with this woman or we move in together, I got five miles of V plus my two. Then I gotta take care of her. So I gotta look at my finances. If they don't analyze this and they just and they just jump in and say, Oh yeah, she's the queen of the earth and all of a sudden those dudes that they broke up with her, I'm glad they broke up with her because she's such a queen, those are beta males and then they gonna then they once they get caught up and deep into the relationship, they start realizing it's a liability and that's when it becomes toxic. You know what I'm saying? And so if I do date a, if I do date a single mother, I have to analyze and say, Is it a especially if she got really young kids, like six or seven, like, you know, I can deal with a baby mama, uh, I can deal with a, ba- a single mother, and she got like teenagers that want to graduate. You know what I'm saying? The chick I'm talking to right now, she's 45, her kids are grown. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I always say I don't agree with women trying to date when they got young kids because that that, that's, that dude is, all men that try to date a woman with young kids, that's a liability. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I know we're probably going to have some baby mamas call in. We're going to work with some stuff. But that's, you baby mamas with young kids, y'all are liabilities. Y'all are not assets. And I yield my mic. Yeah, guys can call up if you want to engage in this conversation. You know, I like to hear from y'all, men, women. And I know this is unusually the channel that I, I do the call shows and, you know, wherever the um, playback or the audience, it is what it is. Y'all know it is every late night at the roundest time. You know, I'll do shows on here on this other platform. But it's good that y'all call and interact and engage in this type of conversation. Um, one, one thing is this. Baby mamas today, if we want to go there, right? And, and, and it kills me. And that if you are a baby mama by choice, let's keep real, no one's forced you to be a, a mother, um, a single mother or whatever, right? That why is it that some of them want are seeking out dudes that don't have no children? Is my other question. Yeah, because you know, black women, women, single mother culture, man, they're in competition with other women. So if they, so when some when some women do prefer a man, unless they don't want no more kids. Now, we're not talking about the ones that don't want no more kids that don't mind it. But for the ones that do have kids but don't want a guy with kids, they're in competition. They want him to be the only man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, that Disney fairy tale, show them that they, oh, he's a knight in shiny armor and all this other stuff. It's Disney. It's that, it's that fantasy delusion that these women are caught up in. So that's why you see women on the certain – dating app or dating not dating app but certain dating show that they have kids by three different dudes but don't want a man to have kids. So basically they're saying they won't date they won't date themselves. So why should a man date you? You know what I'm saying? If you won't date yourself. They won't date a man with kids. They say that's what they prefer. But like I said, it's a competition thing, you know. Um I I even see it on B L K and some and over even on some of the dating apps. They say they want they don't want a man with kids but they got but they got a uh, they taking a picture with a whole basketball team of kids. Football team. That, that that don't make sense to me at all. But I, I I think it's a competition thing. They don't want to have to. They don't want the other baby mama to take from what from their household. You know, 
I know my ex-wife was kind of having an issue because I had two kids prior to her. She only had one child, you know, but he was grown, though. He was, like, a senior in high school. And me and her ended up having a child, but, you know, at the same time, she kind of felt some type of way about me having kids outside of her, you know, because uh, she didn't she, – because every time I went to go get them, she thought I was messing with her and all this other stuff. No, I don't go backwards. But, but like I said, it's a competition thing. Okay. Okay. Um, let me think. And I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I I'll say this. Um, for 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 a lot of women that um that are still seeking. And one thing I want to ask you: You familiar with that other consecrated that woman that is taking chaos talking points? That chick with the last is G. KG. Yeah, that, that, that's the dating. That's the dating show I'm talking about. Yeah, KG. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, know, very interesting with her. She does things in reverse. And what I mean by this is that she is given and creating an environment for a lot of women to be in the adolescence and even more in the delusions. You know, and at times she'll laugh at some of the things that is what they want to ask. But really, when I think about that. Sweetie, you, you're not going to do what KS does because he, he deals with the reality, you know? Yeah, she, 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 she tried to tell, well, she tried to tell the women the, uh, the truth, but she always say what well, I hear other men say. But that's her logic, too. That's her, that's, her, that's her thinking, too. Like when a lot of those women that come on her show and they say things like that, that's when she go into her Kevin Samuels Bible. And, and basically pull it out. And then we like, okay, you're KG, you're thinking, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're not telling them that they need to be in shape, you know what I'm saying, need to, need to, need to analyze, you know what I'm saying? Because they, she never asked them what they're going to do for the woman. Uh, well, she's starting to ask questions like what are the flaws that some of these women have. And a lot of these women be, don't even be listening to flaws. They be listening to things like, oh, I love hard and all this other stuff. Like, that's a flaw. Like, loving hard, I ain't no loving hard was a flaw. Oh, I give good head. You know, they, they be saying all kinds of crazy stuff. That's not a flaw. They basically kind of low-key try to basically up-talk themselves when when KG asks ask those questions. But KG needs to start asking the questions. But she do ask, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? And some of them be saying, well, I'm smart and I'm funny and I'm this and I'm that. But she needs to say, hey, those are things that men don't value. Are you submissive? Are you cooperative? Are you agreeable? If you got kids, are you going to make the kids respect them? Does he, can he discipline the kids? You know what I'm saying? And I, and I hate when I hear a lot of women say, no, nah, he ain't got to take care of my kids. I got this. That's cap. Men, women, let me tell you, let me tell the baby mothers that's out, that's out here listening to this, this, this podcast, this show. When you got kids, that man is ob- – well, he's not obligated, but he is looked at as the provider. He's going to take care of your kids, whether he's paying a bill, whether he's paying the mortgage, your rent or whatever, your car note. All that stuff ties into him taking care of your kids. I hate when women say, I got my kids, you ain't got to take care of them. So that means that we go out, I'm only going to pay for mine and your food. I ain't got to pay for this. And if I don't do that, then what? You know what I'm saying? So it just it's all cap. That's why I try to tell women, get back with your baby daddy, and they get mad at me. They get mad at me for saying that. I know it'll be okay. I ain't getting back with that sorry nigga. He got enough. You, you laid with him. Did you know he was sorry before you laid down to open your legs? Because women are the gatekeepers of sex. We're the gatekeepers of the relationship. Obviously, he didn't want a relationship with you. And women got to understand this, too. How you present yourself to a man, whether he's going to see you as a relationship, uh, whether it's relationship attraction or sexual attraction. And a lot of you women are hypersexual, black women. Y'all are hypersexual. Y'all are twerking at uh, downtown Dallas at, the, at these, um, well, they're twerking everywhere. But I know I had to, we had to pull those women out that was on what's like, I was on that video. We had to pull them out. You know what I'm saying? We had to pull them out of the damn restaurant. And then they wonder why men don't respect them or they won't accept them and their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's probably why your baby dad is not with you. I know I probably went off on a different tangent, but this is what comes on her show. KG show, women like that, women that, that they have unrealistic uh, expectations and requirements, and they say a man can't have no kids. Come on, man. I'm going to yield my mic. All right. All right. I got some caller. Well, I got one caller. Let me open this mic, see who this is. And, you know, it's this somewhat open mic. So first caller. All right. First caller, open your, your mic. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? What up, Gary? 
This is Jay and All right. What's going on? Yeah, man. Thanks for keeping the lights on. Memorial Day weekend. Good show, you know, getting that dialogue going. Um, yeah, a couple of things real quick. I, I listened to some of the show. Um, I, I think, and this is just my opinion, um, I think that sometimes we box everything up to what's, what we see, uh, I guess, the, the a lot of, of, right? So so sometimes because we see a lot of certain things, we, we tend to think that that's everything. Um, I, I think the Internet, is it could be looked at, as I say in the past, you know, like in two different ways, how you use it, you know, and you can see the good, a lot of good, and you can see a lot of bad, depending on what, what angle you're looking at or what, you, what content is being fed to you. So, so when we talk about the women, and I'll say um, like the baby mama stuff, I'll go from the last stuff of, of women that, you know, that – have uh, this, or not say entitlement, but they feel that basically that you have to take care of their kids. Um, it becomes um, you have a portion of women that are like that that will say, "Well, you know, if you're dating me, you know, I come with a package. You know, I come with kids." And at the same time, as you have that, you have men that are willing and unwilling to deal with that. I think there's men that are open to that not all men but you have a portion of men are willing to accept that and they're willing to spend money sometimes it's because they're just uh, uh um generous or you know obviously they could afford to do it um or, or you know as some you know however they doing but the point is is that you have some that genuinely are generous you have some that feel like it is an obligation um, they're not selfish, and then you do have a portion of men that say, "No, that's not my my problem. Like, I'm not. That's not my responsibility. You know, or, or you know, I, I'm not obligated, or I'm not going to do anything. You know, whether I want to or don't want to. You know, I don't. I don't have to, and I'm not. So I think you have both things going on, and then you have this thing about the polygamous thing, right? I think also when you go back to that, that there is women that are willing to accept that, but then there's women that don't want to accept that. And when you go to what you were saying earlier was that, you know, um, some women don't want to go back to the husband or ex-husband because of their relationship the way it was. It's much worse for them to get into back in a relationship, whether it's with them and the ex-wife. There's women that are not willing to deal with the man, whether it's polygamy or not. You know, so I think that every every case is is you know um is is particular cases. Every case is unique. There's similarities in a lot of them, but I think that in, we we're in a time right now, like I said, with the internet as well, because it could be a double edged sword. But I think the internet is a place where now people more than ever have been getting married. People are connecting more on the internet than they have before. But then they say in relationships that are people separating, you know, that people are more on the computer than what they are in person dealing with each other. So that's a portion of that as well. But I go back to the connectivity. There's people that could, couldn't connect with people before that they can connect now. You can put your profile up, whether it's the truth or not. You can put up information, misinformation about yourself. And through that, people can analyze and and kind of you know a uh, uh, do an evaluation on what they're looking for, vice versa. So you know, and again, not that all the information is a hundred percent correct or is true or not. For the most part, you have people that are out there that do put their information and they lay it on the table. There's people out here in the world that don't care and will tell you how it is straight up. You like it or you don't. This is what it is. Then you have people that like to dance around or don't want to tell you this and that. You have that portion, too. But I'm saying that as a whole, as this ocean of Internet, right, it's, um, you know, like you go into, literally, like if you go into the ocean, you jump in the ocean, or like they say, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea. There's different type of fish. You got all type of fish. You got sharks, and then you have all type of different, 
you know, scavengers, and then you have, you know, like, if you go into sharks, there's, like, different part, type of sharks. When you go into fish, there's different type of fish. So when you, and then when you get deeper into the water, it gets deeper. You know what I'm, different type of stuff. So I look at it, I look at life like that as well. And, and, and again, so when, you, when you're dealing with whether it's the world, your life, the Internet, Going back to the internet, you're dig- digging into a sea, and when you're going through this sea, you're, you're, you know, there's a lot of stuff there that's going to be n- not good for you, and you're not going to find exactly what you want at, in one shot. So I would say that life and relationships is 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 the same. It's your journey as you go through. And you're going to have ups and downs. And it's like you're trekking through mountains, walking up and down through rocks and going through all type of uh, terrain to get to your ultimate goal. You know, and I think that so, so ultimately to wrap all this up, which I said a lot, is that there's somebody for everybody out there. So exactly what you're saying, what you're looking for specific, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but you can find something that's 80 to 90 percent of what you're looking for and possibly close um so you know i I think that again there's an ocean full of a sea out there for everybody whether you bring in toxic energy or non-toxic energy you will find what you're looking for but you will go through the uh journey and you know there's going to be bumps in the road and you're going to find people and then it also in this journey you're going to find people that you say, damn, you know what, you, you want to give up. You say, oh, damn, this is the way it is. It's like everybody's like that. No, but this is the journey we go through. So I would say as we go through our journey, you find different type of personalities, people, but there's somebody for everybody. And I think that you just, you know, got to find your way. And the life, is, life is like that. I'll leave it there. Good show. You know, I think it's tapping into some, some you know, things that's happening in real life. And get some women on here, man. Get the get some women on here to give their perspective. Not all women are going to say the same thing either. Keep doing your thing, Gary. Thank you for for, for keeping the lights on. Thank you, Jay NYC. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, any response to that, Sankofa? Oh yeah, um, he, 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 yeah. I want to um. I want to touch on something when uh, he said uh, it's not, it might not be a good idea to go back to the baby father. Yeah, you know, and in some retrospects, you know, saying because a lot of times women say they it was they, they it was it could be abusive mentally, emotionally, physically. I don't condone anybody being abused or being mistreated in any way. Um, but some women will leave just because the man cheated. And let's talk about that for a second. A lot of women leave because a, a man is cheated. Now. It depends on your status, whether a woman, a lot of women don't, we, we don't realize that women, if a guy has a high status that's making six figures to basically a millionaire, she will put up with a lot more, like DV and all that stuff. She'll put up with it. But if a guy's broke, she won't put up with it. You know what I'm saying? If he's only making forty, fifty thousand a year, she'll leave quick. But that same guy that was still giving her that abuse, and then he was a six-figure guy plus, and he was able to provide that lifestyle, women will stay. So we can't just say that it's not a, it's it, it is not a, it's not a good idea because she's been abused. But at the same time, we cannot pull women away from those type of guys because they still enjoy a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Women will put up with abuse if the guys if, if the if the if the pockets is right, that bag is right. You know what I'm saying? So and my my, my I still stand on it. Like when a woman has young kids, she shouldn't be dating. You know what I'm saying? Jay's right. There's somebody for everybody, but when there when when a woman has kids, you know what I'm saying, she's sharing a baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be talking here, you could be talking to somebody that's baby mama number six. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying, once she get into it with the other baby mama on the phone, on Facebook or something, now you gotta deal with that. How do, how does a man deal with a woman that's competing with other women? You know what I'm saying? And mad about the same dude. She can't truly focus on a man when she had, when she's baby mama number six with three kids by the same guy, and she's basically having a toxic relationship with her baby daddy. Now you got to step in and be Craig, be her Craig to her Debo. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to be nobody's Craig to their Debo. You know? So single women with kids, stay single until you your child gets out of the house. I don't care how old you are.
I know JNYC. And also, JNYC, you made a, a, a good point, too. The Internet has made the world so small. You can you, you connect on the Internet with people from around the world. So it has really shrunk the world. The world went from a massive rock into a small pebble. You know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, that's, that's, a little, that's a little science joke, but, you know, yeah. So that's, that's, that's what I stand on, man, because, look, they, they don't – and, you know, this is another thing I want to bring up, too, that JNYC touched on, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Why do women want to put standards on a man, a new guy, after she done already broke, or after she done already been ran through, had these baby daddies and stuff like that with these kids? Now, because I had a woman tell me, I'm not having sex to marriage. I'm like, woman, you got six kids. You not having sex to marriage. Now you want to think about it? Now it's a standard? That's, that's ridiculous. You not having sex till you're married after you done had popped out six babies? <laughs> Come on, man, make it make sense. That's my thoughts, uh, chaos. I think chaos. You I think you might be on. Yeah, okay, we can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, keep talking. I, I, I'm doing some right now, quickly. I just want to get knocked away. I'm just have continue the conversation. Sorry. Okay, okay, so I wish JNYC was still on. We could basically have a dialogue. Yeah, um, I'm here. I'm here, brother. I'm cool. here. Good. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so JNYC, bit by bit, man, what do you think about women with with a bunch of kids, that, you know what I'm saying, that's sharing a baby daddy, you know what I'm saying, that's still kind of dealing with them? Do you think that the woman is still kind of dealing with them? You know what I'm saying? Because I heard on KG show when did this woman say, yeah, I'm still dealing with my baby daddy, but I'm trying to find a man so I don't have to deal with him no more. Do you think it's that same woman that's dealing with her baby daddy going to quit dealing with her baby daddy just because she got a new man? Um, most most of them, no. But there will be a portion that if she's, if, I mean, if she's determined and, and she's going to disconnect completely, you know, which is very, I would say, not rare, but it's not it's not more common than, then, you know, still having some type of connection, right? So whether you didn't, you in bad terms, but you still have some type of rights because technically she can't just take off, right, with the kids, right? And, and, you know, there has to be some, some type of – now you, you, you have to, you know, now get the courts involved in the sense of if she leaves, right, and then she goes with some other man and disconnects from that baby father. That happens, but – there has to be a legal way to do that, because if not, I mean, the, if the father wants to, you know, is gonna, deter, you know, be to determined, he's gonna go and find his child and have a connection. So for the most part, not all the time they're gonna just disconnect from them, because they're gonna have some type of interaction, whether he's bringing, you know, uh, 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 something for the for the child, picking up the child, custody, um, you know, joint custody, things like that. So you don't really disconnect just because you find a man or a woman finds a man or a man finds a woman that he disconnects from the from you know the the significant other or past. Yeah, I, I, that's not on all cases, but yeah, there is terms and terms and times that you know that you will have a woman that she'll find and she will disconnect and disappear. They disappear too, but not all. Like you know, they they just because she met a man now she's just dealing with. You know, no, okay, now she got a man, and she's dealing with the father, the, the the baby father, as you know, accordingly to whatever that that you know their 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 uh, um agreement is on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. See, that that's what kind of makes me afraid of dating women with young kids because that father's still there. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you know, like I'm in a DFW here. I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I cannot really date nobody in Fort Worth because I pretty much know most of the women out there. I ain't no, I ain't related to all of them because I really grew up in East Texas. But my, my my father's side is from Fort Worth, and um, you know, growing up in that hood and stuff like that, it's like I know. Junebug, your baby daddy, why are you trying to holler at me? Because I know Junebug can still fuck you if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the uh, dynamic right there when it comes to mothers with kids trying to date. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that, JNYC, you made a good point, but I'm not saying nobody don't deserve love, man. But at the same time, women got to understand because they're going to be busy most of the time. They got to be in mommy mode. They're already working. They're already stressed out. Then they got to come home, feed the kids, help the kids with the homework and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if they do get a man, they're not going to be, they're not going to want to take care of that man. Because, look, men, we, in a relationship, we just want our woman to be 
cooperative, you know, okay, agreeable, submissive, friendly, and all this other stuff. You're not going to get that from a, from a baby mother, especially a woman that's done been through a lot and done um, – than than been through heartache and stuff because black women want us to be leaders. They want us to be in the house, but they don't trust the leadership. That's why black women still they don't want to relinquish that control because they don't trust it, and they have been bred, they have been braided by their mamas not to trust it. So what do you think about them not trusting our leadership, even if the man decides to take on that family, that that already made family, but they don't. Well, what do you think about them not trusting that? I know you've seen it. You you from a big city, you from the Big Apple. And these women are masculine, but they want a man. They need a man, but they don't trust the leadership. Where do you think they come from? In my opinion, I think I think it comes from their mama teaching them not to trust the man, even because they didn't trust a man. So what do you think about that? I mean, that could be part of it. You know, that could be some, a portion, because, again, I, I never generalize or, or, or box in everything. Everybody's case is different, but you could say there's a, a, a portion – they would be like that, you know, their their moms or, you know, advice from others. And and some of it has to do with experience, you know, it, it, their own personal experience. You don't need nobody to tell you what you went through and, and, and what you feel from, from you know, from the reaction of, of what that of, of that treatment is. So, I mean, you, you got some that are encouraged by others that they tell, oh, don't be like this, or you shouldn't be, you know, be careful, or you should have this, or don't have that. That's one portion, but then there's them that have their own experiences, you know, and, and some of it has to do also with past experience. So I just say that you you got in anybody when they have bad relationships in the past and and experiences when you when you going into a new relationship, you have to be cautious, but then also not so defensive. You know, you have to have like that balance because you don't want to mess up the relationship you have with that person because you you know you're, you're dwelling on the last relationship. But there's a lot of people that haven't dealt with that trauma, so you know it's how you deal with it. You know, you have to deal with certain things. Get if you want to say get over it or get through it, so you could be able to have a productive relationship. You know, moving forward, that it doesn't you know cause conflict with your new relationship that might is going to be totally different from the other you know and, and you don't want to damage that because of your past you know issues and things like that so you know i, I it, it, everything I, I you know again like you said dealing with a big city you have certain people that went through this that you know you and then everybody has their little unique issue you know or, or certain things that the other one can't talk about because they went. They only went through that uniquely. So I mean, it, it, every case is different. But... Jay, you want to see you there, man? I think you. Yeah, uh... yeah. Oh, okay, yep. okay, okay. Yeah, no, I'm just saying with the numbers, you know, like you can't box everything up. Everything is, is is you know case by case. There is a lot of similarities, but um, there's um. You know, everything, every case is unique in its own way where, you know, there, there might be one or two things that might be different from the other. But there's a lot of similarities, but you can't box everything. And moving forward is that, you know, you don't want to hinder your new relationship because of past experiences. But then also you want to be cautious. So it's like finding that balance, man. And I think that's what anything in life is like. You know, we always struggle to find the balance in everything so things come out decent you know, at the end, you get a good result. You know, you don't want to bring your baggage to the relationship, but there's people that have trauma, and they have to deal with that, and they have to address that, you know, and also those the other person has to be aware of that too, you know, what, what kind of stuff they went through so they can know how to deal with that and, and move forward. That's it. You back, Gary? Yeah, I want to... Get Gary a little bit more time, but yeah, I want to piggyback off that man. But but from what you said, it's just like oh, a lot of women have been uh, traumatized. Some of them women didn't even go through what what they what they uh, experienced. Well, what other people experienced. I think what sometimes when I with the older women in this generation, they'll tell these women that ain't been through nothing. Like they be sixteen years old. Tell like like say for instance, 
my kid's mother. And if I was abusive towards my kid's mother and stuff like that, I feel like I feel like my kid's mother would tell my daughter to not trust men because of what I did to her. You know what I'm saying? My daughter ain't experienced nothing with a man. You see what I'm saying? So I think that fear is being taught. You know what I'm saying? I don't think black women are being cautious. I think they're being fearful. But but at the same time, their biology is saying you need a man, you need somebody in the house to take care of you and provide for you. But what the, but what their mind? It's like they're fighting against their biology because of what they hear. Like you ever hear, um, like I heard a woman say, "Well, I don't want to be like uh, my grandmother yeah, because um, you worked and did all this. That means it gives you the right to cheat." I'm sorry, I'm outside, y'all. But yeah, it seems like you know women are they 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 try to put themselves in things in situations that they didn't even go through because of what they heard, what happened to Big Mama, you know what I'm saying? Because Papa was cheating, but he was working and providing, protecting for the family. But they thinking that they gonna go through that too because Big Mama went through it. So it's it's really a fear thing, you know what I'm saying? These women are fearful of relationships, but their biology and their nature is telling them you need a man, get you a man. But they but they so wrapped up into their thought process of what what happened to Big Mama because they think if they don't work and they 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 stay with a man that do work, they gonna say, well, he gonna feel like he feel like he have the right to cheat because he's taking care of everything. That's not why men cheat. Men don't cheat because they are the leaders of the household. That's not that's not the reason why. And I even explained it to her. I said most men cheat because sometimes y'all women can be um, not all y'all, but some of y'all cannot give good sex or, you know what I'm saying, because men, we're 90% visual and 10% everything else. That's what women need to understand, our nature. We're visual, okay? So if you're not if you're not visually appealing to that man anymore and he's trying to, and if he don't communicate to you, yeah, then he will cheat on you. But if he communicates that with you and you still, you say, okay, I'll do it, but you're not, but you're not doing it, then you're being inconsiderate so that man will cheat. See, women need to understand men just don't cheat on impulse, you know what I'm saying? We cheat because maybe there's something missing. You know what I'm saying? Just like women, they cheat. They cheat with emotions. You know what I'm saying? So. Is chaos back on. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you now. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, here, I'm, here, I'm here. I'm here. Hold on. Okay, um, okay. Let me see if somebody else raised their hand. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. guys. No I had problem. To take... Um. All right, next caller, who's this? I think you just unmuted me again. Go ahead. Check okay. again, Gravy. Somebody else. All right, I'm almost done, guys. Keep talking, all right? All right. So, like I said, man, I, I just want to reiterate, you know, again, you know, I, I think a lot of the stuff, too, comes from past relationships. You know, a lot of the, the, the issues come from bad past relationships that sometimes, you know, uh, uh, you know, we just say in general that we we come into relationships and we bring that with us. You know, past experiences. Of course, you have to be aware. You have to be cautious. Sometimes defensive. But you know, as you get into a, a relationship, you know, um, you know, just kind of like it's supposed to ease up a little bit, and you know, you're supposed to be comfortable and, and you know, and secure. So. I mean, it, it, I think that we're just dealing in a time that, you know, there's a lot of massive uh, stuff happening and all at once, you know, different angles. you got the Internet, you know, that, again, is a, it, it's, it's a big ocean of a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then you, as, as you go into it, there's stuff coming out of it. And what's coming out of it is a lot of the negative of what's happening and and i think that you know i think it's a natural thing that you know not us but in general you know controversy and all this you know hyper shit you know uh uh you know is catches the the ears and the eyes of people you know so the all the negativity of what happens versus all the positive so you have a lot of negative happening but you have positive happening but we see a lot of the negative that over you know bears everything that's positive happening you know and i think that i don't know some people they're bored to hear people's good relationships we almost got a toxic mentality not everybody but you have a lot of people out there again within the internet which are human beings they are on the internet let's get that right that are you know they have they when you talk about people that's having good relations they don't like that because their life is is not going so well or their relationship so I mean, it, it's it's a lot of 
to deal with. And I just say that again, man, you just got to kind of, you know, construct your life according to, you know, how you can keep open mind. Um, always remember there's somebody out there for you. Even if you're a toxic person, you're just going to have to find a, a, another person that will deal with your toxic toxicity. You know, and, and so whatever we consider bad or good or whatever, you know, according to different people and how they, what they're willing to deal with or not deal with, that's what I think is the, 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 the key of everything. So when you're trying to find that person, okay, that you said about polygamy, you got to find a woman that's willing to deal with that, that's willing and open-minded to that. There are women that are open to that, but they're going to have certain – some women in, that are agreeable about that, they're going to say, well, look, this is what – I expect if I'm going to get in this relationship, you got to have this, this, this done. Like what Gary was saying. Like a lot of women, you got to, these dudes, some of these dudes, they talk that shit, but they don't got the money to put it up. And not only the money, you got to be able to deal with that. Because a lot of times there's jealousy and, and envy starts. Because remember, you're one man, and you got to split yourself in two or three. If you give more attention to one than the other, you might cause a thing. If you give one time more than the other, or you cut off time from that one because you're with the other one. Okay, you were both of them. You can't split yourself in half. One could be on one side, the other one could be on the other. You still got one penis. Okay? You give one more attention than the other, the other one gets jealous, vice versa. A lot of men ain't going to be the second. Most men ain't going to want to be the second. Very rare. I think that's where you can say is a small portion of men that's going to be like, yeah, I accept you having another husband, and I'll be the second one or the first or whatever. I, I don't see that. I don't see, I'm talking about where everybody sits down like adults. Not talking about, oh, I'm dating, or you'd have your man, whatever. You know, I come in whenever. You got your man, no matter. I come here whenever I want. No, no, no. I'm talking about literally... To a woman having two husbands, you're accepting that. Would you accept that, brother? Let me ask you that. You there? Hey guys, uh, I'm I'm here now. Where's that going for? Uh. No, he'll, he'll be back. Um, oh, no, he's there right now. He's there. Oh, you know what's going on? Ted Kofi, there? I, I think you, that, you have been muted, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know you what? You have been muted. stupid boy is acting up, man. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. It happened, it happened to me. But so so would you accept that? That's what I'm saying. You heard what I said, though, right? Yeah, yeah I heard everything. Yeah, yeah. All no, right, I wouldn't cool. accept that. So give, like me your, that. Yeah, no. give me your thing. Give me your, your, your you know, what, what do you think about that in general? I just, I just think because... Men, women, because of reproduction, number one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want. I never want to be number two. I'm always going to be number one. So being in a being in a house and I'm a and I'm a brother husband, that don't even sound right. For one, that don't even sound right. I'm not going to be a brother husband. Like you know, sister wives, that sound more better because there's more women than men. You know what I'm saying? So the reason why I was saying, you know, why not? Why why they shouldn't be? Why should? Why they? Why most women should be okay with polygamy is because. Even with all the statistics I listed out, there's only going to be there's still going to be like 10 million to 12 million black women that are still going to be single and unmarried. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are undesirable. Not all of them, but most of them are undesirable anyway. So I'm not talking about the undesirable black women. I'm talking about the ones that are desirable. You know what I'm saying? And that that wants to be loved and taken care of. But me being a brother husband, nah, man. I'm. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, but you said that it sounds good for the woman because of uh, a certain situation. Now, some women would say, well, who are, who are you to make that decision for me? Just like who is a woman to tell you that you should accept being a second husband? You understand? So I think that, again, it goes back to particular of what you're looking for, and there's a woman out there that accepts exactly what you're saying. And I want to make that clear. There are people out there, men and women, that will accept certain things. And what you just said, there's a woman out there that's like that. But I think that the whole thing that we get mixed up in general, not you or I, but a lot of other people in general that would say, you know, they get mixed up because of the, the, the gumbo of mixture on the Internet. 
you know, oh, well, so just trying to find that right person because, again, you have people that agree, disagree. Some things they do agree on that. You got to find that one that totally agrees. But then there's, again, a portion that would say, wait a minute, what are you talking about? So, you see, I think it's just a matter of, of, of mindset, you know, and, and, and what they're agreeable on, and not that they're indoctrinated. How about that? Not a person that was even raised on that, that they have their own mindset and free mind and say, you know what, I would, I'll live like that. I'm cool with that because I want to live like that, and I feel comfortable living like that. And once you find that person, you good. And so there's always somebody for somebody. I'm going to say it again. Even a toxic person could find somebody. He's going to be probably, you know, wild, crazy relationship, toxic as it is, but you can get a relationship. There's somebody out there that will meet your match out there. It's just that we're, we're living in an ocean of, you know, of, of human beings. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, I said, like I said, you know, it, it's just when – when you look at, like I said, I, I guess I'm just looking at it from a dynamic statistics point, like the women outnumber men, like 20 to 1. And we're just, I, I'm, I'm just looking for black women to win, but, you know what I'm saying? But the the, the original topic was they hate polygamy. I hate, the, I hate the thought of it, but they sharing the same man when it comes to children or reproduction. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, so because in, 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 in a way, I think it's, the, it's mm-hmm. because, again, it's a, it's a different, maybe the way you're saying it is not the way you're looking at it. You understand what I'm saying? So you're yeah, saying that from, a stigma, from, the, from the stigma of it, yeah. Right, or you know, different see, angle, everybody, yeah. everybody thinks polygamy has something to do with just sex. No, it's basically about building a unity, you know what I'm saying? I used to be like, oh, I'm against polygamy. Well, I'm not against it. It just don't work for me. But at the same time, I'm in agreement with polygamy because it builds a family. It builds a, uh, 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 what's that? Um, it builds a village, you know what I'm saying, a, a family uh, uh, legacy, you know what I'm saying? You're keeping legacy, and then you got women there. Um, if you all stay in the same house, you'll be the protector of all those women. Now, we got a lot of black women that's out here that's unprotected. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it from protection, stability, financially, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, everybody, you know what I'm saying, we all can be one unit, family unit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm agree with the traditional family unit. But at the same time, when they, when you got these women out here just uh, like baby mama number six, seven, like, dang, why y'all just don't be in a polygamous relationship? <laughs> but but they, but the, but I see what you're saying. These women are having reproducing with guys that are not even husband material, which that boggles my mind too. But yeah, you said a lot of correct things and I agree with you. But at the same time, I'm looking at it from a family standpoint, a nuclear family standpoint when it comes to that, because um, me, I, I got two baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? So, but there, if there was a law, I would ask them, Hey, let's just all, let's just all be one family. Just, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, that just me, not, that doesn't work for me. But if it meant, if, but if it meant that, but if it meant that all three of my children would be taken care of and I'll protect both of the women, then yeah, I would do it. So you could afford to do but it. But that's not going to happen. Right? Huh? You could so afford what? to do it. You, if right now, if you, if, if you had the choice, you could have them both there. You could take care of both of them, right? Right. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah, does, I could afford to do both, it, yeah. Does, does both are you talking about financial or are you talking about emotional? Both. Yeah, I can. I, can, I think I believe I can do it. So have has that discussion ever been ta- had? No, and I know I know better to even ask that shit. You see what but, I'm saying? So, they, but because <laughs> you see what I'm getting at? All right, all right. Go ahead. Let's move got forward. it. Let's move forward. Um, thank y'all for listening. Make sure you like the stream. Um. Subscribe to the Cast Ranch Show, and please leave a comment at the end of this stream. Um, Sankofa, um, hold on one second, this. And please, guys, raise your hand. I know that this is one of them touchy subjects. Interact. You know, I haven't really been too much interact, but I ask a few questions, and, you know, it facilitates the conversation. Sankofa, um, I kind of know he, he was talking about dealing with financially. If you had to deal with women financially in regards to polygamy, what is the, um, I guess, the baseline? Let's say if a man wants, let's say, two women and a polygamist, um, does she have to chip in and play her part? Or should a man um, fully, um, you know, provide everything? 
This is a question. I well, we, from, well, from from my therapist, he's a polygamist, and um, from what from what from my standpoint, he's taking taking the majority of the financial load when it comes to his because he's basically paying for the house and all this other stuff. But the women are chipping in with the groceries and other necessities like clothing and stuff like that. So they so they would be doing. The, they would be doing the easier job. The, they would take more of the lighter load. And me as a man, if I was to be a polygamist, I would be taking more of the heavier load, you know, the, the bigger burdens. The women would take care of the lighter burdens, you know what I'm saying, like raising the children, homeschooling them, buying them food, clothes, and stuff like that for the house. They would chip in. But but what he what he did, which I thought was genius, he basically um, – invested in their home businesses so they don't have to be out in the world and be and have to have another man tell them what to do. Because I think a lot of times when our women are going out in these workforces, they're they're basically submitting to another man. They you know they they, they have to put on their feminine hat when they go to them jobs. But when they come home that feminine hat go off. It comes off at the door. See what I'm saying? So He's gene. Both his women are feminine, like from what I can see. And I've talked to a couple of them. They're very feminine women. They 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 chip in when it comes for the lighter stuff, dealing with the kids, the clothing, the food, and stuff like that. He's taking care of the external, making money to make sure they all have a roof over their head. That's that's balance. You know what I'm saying? But like JNYC, that's gonna be far few in between. So that's why that's why I said, brother, hey J J N Y C, you was on point, man. But um, so. What is this thing that your your woman is not going to work and she's not going to do nothing but sit in her butt, eat bonbons, and, you know, maybe take care of the kids? Why is people still – I'm not sure where this is coming from, but the last time I checked in this modern society, a lot of people don't got like that. It's really facilitate. And let's say our people got it like that. Do you think – not ask or believe that – a man that's doing some things being productive that wants a woman like that to be just, you know, procrastinating and just don't do enough but sit our butt and then, you know, just leave luxury and spend all money. Leisure, yeah. Those women of leisure, like I stay away from those type of women. That's why that's why in the in a polygamous relationship and I know some religions, you know what I'm saying, do have where there are women and stuff like that. You know, one of my best buddies is uh is actually probably in the show but he's just listening. Um, he's a Hebrew Israelite and some of those Hebrew Israelite camps they are polygamous but they got but they have order in their house and that's one thing, even though I'm not with the Hebrew Israelite thing, whatever, but I can understand for some of the from some of the Hebrew Israelites I do know, their house is structured and their women do chip in, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to that, you know what I'm saying? So but the women that are that want to live a life of leisure, if you yeah, I don't deal with those women. That's why that's why from what I was told by Hebrew Israelite, they vet their women. You know what I'm saying? They get them in that word, and they preach to them and tell them what their job is, and that's how you get them, I guess. But me being a non-believer, I ain't going to be able to get nobody to do that because I, I don't have anything for them to follow or to even give them a reason to follow me. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, religion goes. Because we got to look at it like this. 90% of our um, our, our uh, black community is religious. So so the reason why it's easy no, for them yeah, 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 yeah. let's, let's correct it. They're Christian, not religious. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, well, I just say religion because a lot of a lot of polygamy is based off of religion. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of religious beliefs and stuff like that. So that's why I brought that. That's why I brought that up. But if you don't give a woman something to follow or like a reason to, as far as that goes, and that's it's gonna be hard for a person that, that's a non-believer like me and you, you know, what I'm saying to even get a woman to do that. But if you have something like to put them to go off, like you say, God said it, they're gonna be easy to follow because. Women are filling up the churches and men are leaving the churches, to be honest. But at the same time, when a woman, when a man comes at them with like a gospel or, uh, you know, the Bible or whatever, the women will be more subjugated to do it versus a guy that don't believe they, they won't follow me because they, they're like, well, what is this for? Like, what am I doing this for? So. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um. You know, at, at times, you know, I don't really follow the Hebrew lights like that, per se, because, I mean, a lot of things go around there that's weird, personally, and, you know, they, they, they use the Bible to slam and knock over the side of the head of a lot of women, not like physically, but spiritually and with words and stuff, to get them in line, and if you're not like, um, how you say this? If you're not a Bible pumper, you won't be easily manipulated. 
that, that's as far as I'm gonna say it, you know. But um, what else? Yeah, you know, like when you we have, we have something like a spiritual system or religion, if mm-hmm. women can be easily convinced of what you're saying by you utilizing their religion, you know what I'm saying? And that's why polygamy will be easier for men that are religious than versus a guy that's non-religious or, or atheist or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He identifies himself as. But at the same time, a lot of these women don't even follow the Bible as they should because – like I told you earlier, well, a little bit, a few minutes ago, how a woman said that she won't have sex with me until we're married, and she already got six kids. I was like, why all of a sudden have, oh, are you making it a standard now? Why are y'all now, now all of a sudden God is in your life? Now all of a sudden you're a Christian. You want to follow the Christian way, but you wasn't following the Christian six kids. You wasn't following the Christian doctrine six kids ago. You know what I'm saying? And you still want to have hot girl summers and all this other stuff. Come on now. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you're religious, then, yeah, you can basically convince somebody that's religious or they need something to follow. But I just hate when women try to use religion as an excuse to basically want to create a standard after they done already been down that path of unrighteousness, you know, so. Well, you know, women in their mind, being on the carousel is good enough, you know? And they, they feel they could move and act in terms of like the men. So it's like this. They want to enjoy their, you know, their 20s, having such nice casual sex with random men. And, you know, eventually once, once they get through all the, you know, you know, <laughs> Explosion, yeah, yeah. less the excess, the and you know, seventeen percent of those marriages, men are down from like I think like seventeen, fifteen to seventeen percent of the marriages where a woman has had a lot of the road Part- the CC, it, it fails in divorce because she's not she's not um Everybody. she cannot pair bond. Yeah. She cannot pair bond with a, with her husband. You know what I'm saying? Men that had a, has had a lot of sex. We can still get married, and we can still pair bond with our woman because women don't understand. You, we imprint you. We, we, we're not slut. We're slut makers. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it like that, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I'm Mr. I'm the black controversy right, right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's the black controversy show, really. TRS presents <laughs> Chaos Reign produ- Productions, black controversy. But at the same time, man. I just hate when people, women try to use religion because they'll say, I'm a woman of God. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me back up. Did y'all see that woman on TikTok that basically shamed men for shaming this guy for asking him, what am I getting out of this if I uh, take on you and your seven kids? And she was just basically went to on a shaming him, talking about he's not a man of God and all this other stuff, talking about he's unintelligent and he's not doing what God sent him out to do. Tell me what God sent that man to want to take care of your kids. I gotta pull that. I gotta pull that up and send it to you, man. But yeah, she went on. She, instead of saying, telling the man what is he getting out of it, she went on to shame him, insult him, called him unintelligent, saying that he's not doing God's work. Huh? Yeah, I know that. Oh, you seen that video? I did not know that. I did not know that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's on TikTok. I gotta find it, but I'm definitely gonna send it to you. This woman got six kids, divorced, and this guy said, what is he getting out of it, you know what I'm saying, for, for taking on another man's kids? And she just went on and started talking, insulting him. Then she started talking about God called him to do that, and he's not doing what God sent him to do. He's unintelligent, isn't that? Shame, insult, guilt, and needs to be right. Because, Man, you know she, we're not gonna call, huh? because she have, um, <laughs> she has used her body as a uh, you know vacuum cleaner for too long, and God bless the children she had. Hope is by not more than two dudes, but you know if you have more than six kids, you know you're gonna have a, a plethora of gentlemen, you know, shoot up the club, you know. It is what it is, you know. But to find that you know when the reality hits them, and they say, see, man, must not get too much emotional. When you find women express their real deep um, desires and what they want and their frustrations, because they want the, the illusion 
that they they still have a shot. No matter how old they get, how they're setting their ways, that they still have one shot to get that one dude that's going to make them sit on their butts and solve all their problems. And that man is not coming. Yeah. Matter of fact, most dudes that got their stuff together, and I'm convinced, um, Sankofa, that this is just me. I can see why a lot of young black males today, why their mothers don't prepare their sons enough to be the potential men that they want to see in the future. Because if they got their stuff really good, you prepare your sons well enough, they will not deal with them. At all. Yeah, I'm trying to find that video. That is their greatest fear. And I, I had to agree with one, one brother. I think his name is Red Supreme. He said that. I'd agree with him with that. You know? If, if you're a young black man and you got your stuff together or you're in a direction path, if she don't get you from the beginning stage, she eventually will not qualify once you get to that so-called finish line. And that's the honest truth. Well, it's real honest truth, man. But like it's I said, women, point, women are... Even to the point where you hear him say about, you know, they should not have them come into existence. It, it goes back to control. It's not the fear, it's the control. Because they're not really fearing black boys that become black men. Let's stop that. Let's let's cap that right away. How I know? Because you got a system in place that puts black men today in serious check. Good portion of black men want leisure. If you give them sex, money, and a roof, they will not do nothing else. Hey, hey, G. Yeah. If I send, if I send you, if I send you this video, can you play a snippet of it? Just, just no. to the part where she's up. Uh, I'm not sure. Send me something. Send me something. I don't know if okay. I'm here. Yeah, we're gonna. This, this is fair use. So yeah, just, just play it from the beginning because I, this I, is I a shout out. To the, I, can't, I can't do it from phone because I'm on a different device. It's not a phone. I'm streaming. Oh, okay. Forgot. Man, you can't copy. Okay. Yeah, but know. that's the video I'm talking about. It's a part. This is actually the part two. I'm trying to find part one, but he plays part one and two of what she was saying. This so, um, like point six minutes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she basically just said, let me see if it is able to be heard on here. I doubt it, but let me see. Um, what's this? You can't be a brother or husband, but will cheat with a married woman. Okay, be one and. And see, interesting. All right, so let me do this. I'm going to go on you, G. All right, guys, let me see if y'all guys can hear this. And I cannot. I'm going to um use my other device and see if I can hear it. Let me see how what how it turns out. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's see if this goes. Fair use, fair use. Okay, I don't think it can be. No, there's no way I'm going to be a play. There's no way in play. It's, it's not going to run through this device. These these, these devices. And I'm not going to copy yeah, it. Yeah, if, if I was at home, I would have played it on my other device. Oh, matter of fact, so no, no. I, 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 I think I'm able to do this. Wait, hold on. Let me do this. Let me um, turn this off. I think I may have played. All right, let's see if you guys can hear this. You know what's so unfortunate is that we don't understand how to communicate with one another. Well, we I just trolled it, and then I found this video. Life isn't that difficult, but we make it difficult. Very Until I found this video. Stop blocking me and stop running away from me, okay? Stop. Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. Guess who reached out to me? In my last video, 
I played her mocking black men for wanting women who would serve them a plate of food. She DM'd me on my Facebook page, and this is her comment. Hello, I find it funny that you're constantly trolling my TikTok page to find a narrative that you want to push. If you want real dialogue and a mature conversation, once you hit me up, we can even do a live together. But you need to leave that false narrative alone. Never in any of my videos have I ever said, stated, that I want a man coming into my family and paying for my four kids. I'm a very successful woman who makes over six figures, has four businesses, and don't need a man coming in to do anything. However, Okay, see you there. Sankofa, did you hear that? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I heard I heard a little bit, but it just sounded far in the background. Well, that's the best it just sounded very far away. That's the best it's going to get. I'll probably, I'll probably have to... Uh, no, 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 no. Like, no. And he's trying to leave my family, that he takes responsibility over my family, as well as my kids. So if you have a problem with that, please make sure you post a true narrative but I figure you're not going to do that because you like to get false followers and likes off fake news and drama. So let's not waste any time. Let's give her exactly what she's asking for, just like I did in the previous video of her. Let's post the true narrative of her again. First things first, I was not trolling your TikTok channel because I had no idea of your name or your TikTok channel name. I got those two videos from someone else who did a commentary on it. And clearly, I'm not the only one who heard you say what you said. You're saying that you never said in any of your videos that you're looking for or needing a man to come into your life and pay for your kids. However, in this video, which was the first I'd ever heard of you, a man asked you, and I quote the video you posted, how does raising and investing in your ex's kids benefit me? He's talking directly to you about your kids. What do I gain from working hard and cashing out on another man's kids? Here's a few seconds of your response. Do I need to continue? Yeah, play, yeah. yeah he's going to talk about what she said, yeah. Continue to play, yeah. Yeah. Value man. <laughs> he has no purpose, nor does he know who God created him to for. To make a comment to say, how does it benefit you to raise somebody else's kid? How does it benefit for you to cash someone else's kid? Shows that you have no emotional intelligence. You have no intellect. Okay. So when you carry a mentality as ignorant as cashing out somebody else's kid, it shows that you lack any integrity, any morality. It shows that you're self-centered and possibly narcissistic. It shows many different things. This is why so many families are broken. So did you count them? Eight different insults to this man because he doesn't see a reason that he should spend his hard-earned money on a woman who has kids by another man. Then she says that the reason that families are broken up is because of men like him who don't want to spend his money on somebody else's kids. Uh, I'm not playing any more of this. Man. Yeah, I know. I know. I knew that. I knew that. Hey, Dad. Man, I'm going to send you part one. I just found part one. You can watch it on your own. But, yeah. Yeah, I am not watching it. I'm, I'm saying, if that's what her mentality is, um, she got props. You know? Yeah, did you did you see how she tried to use God in the, in the, in the equation? I mean, she can use God all day, every day, but the biggest question to ask, who's going to really buy in your bull crap? You get me? Shame. That's why I'm saying. Like, why? Like, did he, And the dude asked the question, what is he getting out of it? Is it going to be an asset or liability? That's why I said earlier in the show, men have to basically understand, like, or have to evaluate instead of, instead of just being a simple, because I, you know, I, I, I turned down – well, not turned down, but I've been rejected by several women recently for saying, like, for asking a woman, what am I getting out of this raising your kids? Because every time a woman mentions a package deal, I said, okay, yeah, I get that. I understand it. I said, okay, so am I going to be respected and all this other stuff if I check on you and your kids? Well, you ain't got to take care of my kids. And then I bring up that scenario where we're out, we're out, huh? Continue. I bring Oh, I'm gonna say, yeah, I bring up that scenario to where it's like, hey, you know, if I'm out, if I'm out, um, 
with your kids at Chuck and at, at a dead restaurant, am I just paying for my food and yours, or am I paying for everybody's food? And they get quiet and they say, "Well, let me call you back. I got I got a phone call." And they'll never call back. No, because you know what? It's entitlement. It's like you're going to you not only you're going to take me, you're going to take whatever baggage I have, and that is wrong. Even to the point when you but have. They say, but, you, go ahead. But, but then they say, but they say they they strong and independent. They got it. I ain't got to take care of their kids. But when you present them with that scenario, that's when they that's when they get quiet because they realize that shit that they were saying was ridiculous and it was capped. Uh, I don't know about that, man. If they're strong and independent, I don't, I don't know if I want to buy that. But but let's say that they, they want to roll with that. Then you don't need you don't need this man's money. That's not that's not a story. But yeah, um, if she hang up and don't call you again, that that's where it's at because you asked the real honest question. And see, this, this these are many methods a man could take to eliminate re- legit time wasters. You know, I mean, men deal with logic. If he asks a logic question, I, I read it said, well, you don't get nothing, you know. But it's always good that you know, in God's faith, you know, you you're doing this for the betterment of your heart and for the children. Now she said that. You have the right to say, well, that's not a good deal. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up later, you know? But when, 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 you, when you see, you get them in the trick bag when you ask real questions. Women don't want you, to, this is what it goes back to the community. Do you really want to deal with men with actual logic? Because it seems like the dudes you deal with don't have no brains, no thinking, no, even when they talk about leadership. To be leadership, you got to have some brains. You got to have some common sense. You got to start questioning everything, you know, and make the hard decisions. This is why you have to be careful. careful. They they make their arguments and it's futile. You made your bed and you line it. You're going to be back in the market with some dudes that will see that you carry these baggage and you're making them make a harsh decision if they should really deal with you now, unless it's some nice little fling. But go ahead. Go ahead, Sam Kofa. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. But I don't know why my mute button was acting up. Um, but yeah, man, you know, but see, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? When you tell them, like, hey, you know, you made all these wrong decisions with these guys, you know what I'm saying, back in back in your younger days, because a woman, and I, I know this is going to, this is going to ruffle some more feathers, but like I said, uh, let it ruffle your feathers, let, let it let it ruffle your, your thought process, not your emotions, okay? Let this sink in, ladies, with children. Your value goes down as you age. Your value goes down when you have kids because you gave the highest honor you could to a man that didn't even deserve your time. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, we are not liable or obligated to take care of your offspring, your human offspring. However, if I do come in your life and I, and I agree to take care of you and your offspring, there's going to be some – I'm still going to be the man of the house, Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the house as I see fit. It's gonna be under control. It ain't gonna be no disrespect because first sign of disrespect if it's not resolved, then a man like me will leave. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I won't date a baby mother like I said earlier in the show, but at the same time, make it worth my while. Just like just like when that dude asked that question, what what is he getting out of it? You know what I'm saying? Of dating this woman, she went on to insult him instead of saying, "Well, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get respected. You're gonna get my love. You're gonna you're gonna get my respect. You're gonna get you know what I'm saying." Um, the kids are going to respect you. They're going to do what you say. You're going to be the leader of the household. No, she went into insults because she has no answer. No woman has an answer when you ask them what the question, what, what, what do they bring to the table? You know what I'm saying? Especially when they are baby mama number seven. So, or even baby mama number one. So, ladies, if any woman out there in YouTube land, Spotify, wherever you listen to this from, call into the show. Instead of with, instead of with the shaming language, Tell us what can we get from you if you're a baby mother and we used to date you and you got kids and this and that. What do we get from that? What positive, what make it, you know, it's just like, say, for instance, Gary, you go into a pawn shop, right, and you try to you try to give away your Xbox, right, and they say, well, we're only, we're only going to take this from, we're only going to take this much, right? Don't yeah. it make you upset when, when you don't technically get almost or close to what you pay for it? You get ripped off. Like, 
Yeah, so you pay three hundred dollars for the Xbox, but they only gonna give you one fifty for it. And that's why I try to tell the women, we're the buyers. The man is the buyers. Y'all are the y'all are the products. So we're the pawn shop. Y'all are y'all are trying to perform. And am I right? Wrong? Yeah. So you got kids. Your your value goes down. Your wound been used. Your value goes down. So we the pawn shop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So how would you sell yourself valuable to a pawn shop? If we're the buyers. Well, they said you know the customer I mean? is always right. Yep. That's that's lack of accountability. <laughs> Even if they're wrong, they're still right. Yes, always, always. I got to be right sometimes. All the time. But, you know. I mean, the way you look, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I would say some of these women, coochies need to be pawned in. <laughs> <laughs> need to tuned up a little bit. You need to go to the figure mm-hmm. tune up or something like that, all change or something like that, new alternator, fan belt. But the head gaskets need to be changed out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I, I know that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna trigger the YouTube algorithm, the TRS algorithm. Yeah. I know Tyrone probably. I know, hey Tyrone, I know you probably on the edge of your seat right now, man, gripping the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 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 yeah. That is listening from the clouds. Um, so I guess I take it a lot of the people that's listening in, in the call line, I guess, agree with somewhat of today's stream. Any opposition that would be vocal, but, you know, I don't expect mo- much women come out here and have anything negative to say or what is said for now. But who knows? Who knows? You know. But other than that, you know, this was a show, not a stream. Another um broadcast on the books. Any other um last words or any other things you want to leave for people to think about? Thank you, well, I just say you know I want black love to win. You know what I'm saying? I'm off black. Black woman is my first choice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the passport bro. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of those brothers got tired quicker than me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna stand on the front line with the black woman. But she gotta understand. She gotta get. She gotta get on our page. You know, stop, stop, stop thinking for. Stop thinking that you run shit when you don't really run nothing. And also, I want to do a show next week. And I'm gonna text it in the. Uh, I'm gonna text it in the comments. I mean, in the back, on the back, in the backstage. But uh, yeah, black women just gotta get on our page, man. You know, if you want to be provided for, protected, and all this other stuff, stop complaining about what we're not doing for you when you're basically pushing us away. How can we protect you and love on you and? You know what I'm saying? Provide for you when you say you don't need us. You constantly say that stuff, then we're going to believe you. We're going to be like, okay, bye. But then we get shamed for leaving you alone because you want to be left alone. Or you said you want to be left alone. But like I said, all in all, uh, chaos, man, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just ready for this gender war to stop. I'm ready for um, the, black, the black nuclear family to, to come back the way it used to be. It, it took a generation to destroy feminism, has destroyed the black woman's mind, destroyed the black community. It's going to take a generation for it to get back to where, where it was. But uh, all I can say is peace and love to the panel, peace and love to Chaos, peace and love to Tyrone, man. Thank you for bring, for keeping this uh, show alive. Please like and subscribe. Man, donate to the Cash App, you know what I'm saying? Keep this man, keep this, keep this going, you know what I'm saying, even though he's probably going to kick my ass when he see me, but it's all love. And uh, peace and blessings to the panel. Peace and love to JNYC, ABC, GG, everybody with the TRS family. Peace and love. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And for all that was listening to tonight's broadcast, thank you for listening in. Please leave a comment on your thoughts and opinions. I will be looking for reading the comments for this one. Um, another thing, please follow me on the social media. I mean, social media links and all pages to follow Chaos Rain Show. There are the following: follow me on Twitter at Chaos Rain Seven. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Eric. Rain on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Rumble. C Rain twenty three. Join 
the Discord service of the Chaos Rain show as well. And I think that's pretty much it. And like always, I have the podcast side of things, the audio podcast. That's on the about section of the Chaos Rain show YouTube page. That's it. Thank y'all for listening. Until next time, take care and good night. Peace.